Fabrizio Mono has just posted on social media before that Bayern Munich today have actually opened up talks with Newcastle United with the prospect of signing Kieran Trippier and Trippier himself actually wants to move he is happy going to Bayern Munich what a an absolute bombshell this has been uh, first off for me before we actually get into anything apologies for being away for a few days it's the winter break it's a good opportunity for me myself to have a bit of a break from YouTube to enjoy a few days now this morning I did a 10k run in Newcastle I had Kieran Trippier on the back of my shirt three hours later the guy wants to leave the club I, I can't believe what I'm seeing on social media today but sorry this cat's getting excited here but now um I think the big thing straight away is, is that, well, that's our captain, our dressing room leader. And if it, if this was around the summer, I wouldn't be that fussed because you've got to look at it. This is a guy that's 32 now, uh, with all due respect, one month ago, played Chelsea away. Probably the worst game in his career, and it's unfortunately that situation where if he's going to drop those sort of clangers from time to time, it makes him unreliable, and he's just that guy where... Um, if he's going to have these clangers every now and again, I, I just don't think it's worth it long term. As good as, he, as good as he is, if we can get some decent money for him in the summertime, I think it would have been a, a decent opportunity to get rid of him. But it's the fact that A, it's the January transfer window, so we've got about a week to sign someone. It puts a lot of pressure on us. Chances are it's going to be panic buys, it's going to be desperate signings. And ID, it's not going to benefit us unless it's a good amount of money straight away. It has to be a good deal. If this is like a, a 10 to 50 million million pound deal for me it's not worth it it has to be 25 plus it, it's got to be something good i can't see by me doing it because they, they actually originally wanted micheletti but instead kieran trippy has a backup option so the want to get a bit of bit of a tottenham resurgence going on with harry Kane and eric dyer already there um now at the end of the day we've got to be honest by me is a much bigger club than newcastle they've got champions league football it's a team that's going to get champions league football every single season I can't exactly blame Kieran for going, well, you know what, uh, I think Bayern's a better move for me, I want to go there. But just like any player, really, when you watch his interviews and he first joined the club, it's just a pile of rubbish. He comes out straight away, oh, I love this project, it's something I want to be part of, I want to challenge myself. And two years later, the second that any movement from a different club comes in, straight away, he puts his hand up. I want to make this move just straight away it's not even like it's something that's been bubbling around this second buying hello Q and straight away I want to move like it it's not even like a, it's not even like a gut instance he just done it straight away I'm a bit icky about it and maybe I'm just a bit uh, it's a bit triggered I guess he, he was a player that I would have loved to see a couple more years in Newcastle if he retires at Newcastle then maybe go on to someone like a coach who wrote Newcastle there's someone that long term is going to be a, that key part of the takeover someone that's going to help bring our players to the club that dressing room leader is going to welcome the other players but straight away a good offer comes up and he just goes well you know what I want to move and it just that takes me off honestly there's so I don't know if you guys think any differently about that but it just rubs me the wrong way now all season long there's been something going on from now uh, England and national team he gets recalled from that uh, he wants to go back home for something going on personal uh, he's had obviously horrible rumours going on about uh, about his wife and potential stuff going on there without getting any uh, details about that there's been a lot going on with him and a lot of baggage behind the scenes and it just feels like there's been a lot happening it's just that it's just someone's took them over the edge and it's now that moment where a massive clubs came in champions league football probably more money he's getting a, a lovely time in germany like to harry kane and die are players that he's already played with before and it's just oh, it's horrible isn't it i'm, I'm gutted about this one because I'm, I'm 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 struggling a little bit here because well we're gonna have liver mental which is a great player right back uh of course we've got likes of dan burn left but but we're going to need someone straight away and what options are available I, I don't even know I think Newcastle are in massive trouble and just over the past few months or so this has started to pop up quite a bit Dan Ashcroft he's interested in actually going to Manchester United and their project over there as if like Newcastle's project is worse than Manchester United's which is I mean strange the way Manchester United have been over the past couple of years Bruno Guimaraes, even though in this case there's nothing honestly there, the links to PSG has been turned away from a different club here. Now, Q and Trippier, you know, it's just there's a lot going on, but it, there's some rumours that someone's not happy in the castle anymore. And I've just, I've got a sense over the past couple months, ever since we went out of the Champions League, it just, it's just all went backwards for us. It's just all went completely wrong, and it's, I don't know if it's the social media just trying to start something from nothing. Even Joel, a couple of days ago, again. 
straight away rumour he wants a bigger contract. He could potentially leave in the summer, even though I don't think he will. Just this neck I just hate how negative everything is. It's just this constant media just go on. This player doesn't want to be here. This staff member doesn't want to be here. This player doesn't want to be here. Every single day, they're, just, they're, getting, they're getting a rub off of it. I just hate it because it just makes us look so tin pot and so just so unable to keep anyone at the club. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on at the minute. Um, it's been a rough period. Obviously, we can't sign any players without the player sales, which I think is going to be a big factor in the summer. I think now, though, if we're going to sell any players. Trippy has a tricky one because I don't think we'll get much money for him. He's a guy in his 30s, his value won't be that high. I just I can't see why it would be worth for Newcastle if it allows us to get a big player in them fair enough, but it's going to be tough in this window. That's the issue. So that means now that with our injured, depleted squad, we've got to then go to the end of the season without our, without our leader, without that guy in the dressing room, which is going to be even harder now. I just. For me, I, I can't, I can't get behind this deal. If it was the summer, then yes, I probably could if it's a good amount of money. But here now in this window, I, I, I don't, I can't defend this move. I, I don't agree with it. I think it should be uh, until the end of the year. But if it's a case where, as I mentioned before, the player himself is wanting to leave, he's as I say, desperate to leave. He, he wants that move. He's gonna, he's gonna push forwards that move. Then I think at that point, then he can probably have a choice to make. But if it's just a case where the player is happy with the move, but he's also happy staying, then don't sell him. Unless it's good money, don't sell him. Don't be silly. Don't fall that fall into that trap where we're just selling all our players for some money for FFP. If it's a good deal, then yes, but just don't fall into the trap where we, we're undervaluing players or we're getting players out in a cheaper fee just for the financial fair play because it's not worth it. This is a player that does a job. And despite that Chelsea game, despite that Everton game over the past month or so, Still someone that's up there with the best right backs in the world. He's a good player. He's very good at what he does. And I think Newcastle will be in massive trouble without him. Unless we were to get a suitable replacement in, which is a tough, tough ass. I just can't see how we're going to do it in the space of a week in this window. Especially as well, January transfer window where teams are going to massively have inflation and price towards players. Meaning that players are going to be more expensive. And opposition teams are going to know that we just lost our main right back, so we've got to get someone else in. Then teams are going to overcharge us. It, it's a tough, tough situation to be in. I just can't see how any castle can get around it. I, unless it's a lot of money, I'm, I can't agree with this deal. I don't think we should do it at all. But we'll have to wait and see. I'm, I'm breaking it a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Though. I'm starting to break it. This is a player that I love. I think he's a good, good player to have. And if we lose him so soon... Half went to a season as well. It's oh, we're, we're, in, we're in trouble. We're in big, big trouble. So we we'll see what happens. We we'll see how things go from here. But there's a quick update. Don't want to scare anyone. Don't want to make this video as negative as I can. But it's just the truth. It's came out. Uh, Trippy has happy to move according to a lot of journalists. It's someone that's been reported all over social media. It is a real transfer happening right now. What are Newcastle going to do? I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Would you sell Q and would you keep them? Let me know your thoughts down below. And I'll see you all in the next one.